One of the best ways I've found to get a fire going with a through magnification of Fresnel lens is to not hold the lens. What I find is when I'm trying to hold it, my hand shakes too much. I can't I can't keep it steady. So what I do, just take a stick and cut a slot in it, sharpen one end, slide your lens into the stick. Just stick in the ground. Clear it out down to the dirt so it's dark and you can get an idea of where the focus point of your Fresnel lens is going to be and you move it until you get it to where you want it. You can just lean it forward until you get that sharp solid cooking point or hot point, flash point, whatever you want to call it. You'll note I've got smoke coming off of dirt at this point. So just, just keep maneuvering it until you get it exactly where you want it, the perfect setup. Lean it forward real sharp focal point. Again you can see, at least I hope you can through the camera, I got smoke coming off of dirt. When I have that set up, I know I can move forward with whatever type of tender I want to try to use. Once you get that coal, just keep the pressure on, keep that hot spot in there, begin to roll the little bundle forward a little bit into the same spot. Try to keep that hot spot in, you know, just kind of moving around the same area where you have the coal, this makes the coal larger. Takes a while, you just gotta be patient. There you go. Once you got that point, you go into your bigger bundle. From there, good old trusty piece of birch bark. You can start adding rest of what you're going to use with that fire. Smaller twigs. The usual routine. In my opinion, the trick to it is getting that Fresnel lens in a stick so that you can make it hold in one spot. By holding there and not shaking and not altering the point, uh, it, it takes less time and I, I just personally think it's a little bit easier. Works for me this way. In that case, I use some inner basswood bark, which is pretty fibrous stuff and it's also dark. Right, it's a darker brown, which helps, in my opinion. The lighter the color, the less uh, less heat I think I'm getting focused in that spot. That's why um, I don't use white birch bark. Out of the game. I'm going to try it here shortly, but if you can find the darker birch bark stuff from the deeper inside, something like that, that darkness would probably work. But I like to use uh, basswood inner bark. Works pretty good for me. Stay tuned, we'll do part two. Thanks.